Hello again, YouTube. This is Truth Man giving you the truth. I want to talk to y'all about something. So, every now and then, just so I can stay in touch and in tune with the condition of the world, uh, not just my city that I live in currently, which is my city that I'm born and raised in, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, but just in general. I want to say this, man. Anybody that's into people, yet you feel sad because you don't have friends, or you don't have a lot of friends, or you don't have a boyfriend, or girlfriend, or husband, or wife. I'm going to tell you, you're in bad shape, and I'm going to tell you, here's why. Here's why. Me being a no-matrix man, being a guy who's completely free from the matrix, I can tell you about people. They're in bad shape. And me personally, the only people I deal with and that I even like talk to on a regular is people who are encouraging, people who are trying to learn, people who are trying to teach what they know, people who are only gonna be violent when necessary and they're not going to be uh, uh, gravitate towards violence and petty situations I don't like to be around those type I don't like to be around large groups of people because I know most of these people are godless by nature which means they gravitate towards being beasts so most people have rejected the most high and therefore they're rejecting the wisdom from above they're rejecting the very life that uh created them and caused them to be and when you do that what happens is you're given an open invitation to devils demons or shall i say the devil like like there's really only one devil the rest are like demons and like uh, the fallen ones. The fallen ones, like, we're going to get into this more like in the future in terms of demonology and stuff like that. But the fallen ones are the ones who have the highest positions in what we call hell. Now you say, oh, well, there's no such thing. Just stop it, man. Just stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Astro theology, anything, any beliefs that you have, don't come on here and say there's not a devil. Don't do it. Because the the the, the complexness of the human body and a lot of the things that we see in creation make it plain and common that there's a creator and knowing that there's a creator and if let's just say if for those of you who don't want to be accountable then just being goofies if there's a creator then you know what that means that good and evil come from somewhere now we see the explanation in the bible we know the explanation in the bible and you could choose not to believe something is true or not like that's part of reasoning but the reason why people are so savage the reason why people don't have faith the reason why people get depressed they get addicted to drugs they get addicted to sex addicted to this this addicted to that is because they have lost a handle on their soul and the reason why they lost a handle on their soul because they're going through life without their creator that's almost like and and this will going to happen that's like this little self-driving car stuff that we all know. They just want to make people even more poorer and independent. Because there's no need for self-driving cars. We could drive cars. But the purpose is for the rich to get richer, the poor to get poorer, and the poor to get more dependent, and to lead us to the agenda. But that's like self-driving cars that just so happen to be on the road. Nobody controlling them. That's what people are like. 
And that's why I don't get off into them. Like, I don't get off into, especially if you, if you talking behind my back or you are disloyal towards me, you know me personally and you disloyal towards me or you have negative perceptions. These are all the reasons why I've learned. Like, see, when you let the most high teach you, you'll learn that the more, like, like the Bible says, draw near to God, he'll draw near to you. That's the premise. Like you're supposed to draw near to the people who draw near to you and who support you, help you, and are there for you as a team. Now you need to have the flip switch. So, cause even the most high himself has the switch where he can really allow violence or he can really inflict violence. The most high can, you talking about Thanos? The most high is the real life Thanos. But the only thing is, if he snaps, everybody going to be gone. Now, you can believe what you want, you little nerds, you. You little nerd. You hiding behind militaries. You hiding behind demons. It don't matter. You can't change that fact. You hiding behind your billions. You can't change the fact. So... This is why people always, you see all these videos of people fight. You got more porn videos and fight videos on the internet than, uh, than you have, uh, righteous videos. I remember when we was little, like a cartoon could be like complete sorcery, but it'll still like teach you something when it's all said and done. Not no more. Now is everything being pushed that should be thrown away. And that's what's wrong with these people. And that people are oh, you, are oh, you, it's the same everywhere. No, it's not. It's a different set of challenges everywhere. Everywhere. Now, some places are worse than others. So what a person, a no matrix person or a person is trying to have a peaceful life, you need to gravitate towards the more peaceful places, even though there's no perfect place. Like, and then here's what's really crazy. So in most of these savage cities, right? The law is so backwards, like they'll slap a criminal on the wrist but then they'll get a guy who doesn't get in trouble regularly and they'll try to keep him forever. That's the type of stuff they do. I've seen it. I've worked in halfway houses. I've worked in detention centers. I've seen this. I've seen it. Backwards thinking. The devil is going to lead you to backwards thinking. People fight, 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 whip out their phone. Look, the only one reason you should be whipping out your phone in a fight is for evidence. To get you out of trouble or to get somebody else in trouble that's creating a disturbance. Why do y'all try to keep these goony, savage animals who don't want to do better in life out here with you and your kids? I mean, I don't even like going places where I know they're going to be. Like, the state fair is going on right now. And my sons want to go on the last day. That's the worst day. Because that's the day when all, a lot of the fools going to be there. That's the worst day. Like, this is why you can't always be trying to go somewhere. Like, you got to, sometimes you got to just, just kick back. If it's wintertime, grab you a blanket, some nice food, and just relax. Stop thinking you always got to go somewhere. That's how a lot of times people get caught up in mess. You always think you got to be going somewhere. But y'all got to be careful with these people, man. I'm telling you. And, and like I'm not the type of person that that will shun friendship with a with a person who's being friendly 
Um, but I'm not no fool either. Like, I'll give people a chance, but I'm the type of dude that, well, we ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say that. I ain't gonna put that out there. I ain't gonna put that out there. That's for the gaslighters to find out. So, you gotta be careful out here, man. Like, I'm noticing, that's one thing I like about YouTube is, it's like, there's pockets of people throughout the world that's actually decent. Like, and you get a chance to talk to them. You get a chance to uh, get to know them. They encourage you. You encourage them. Like, I got a lot of encouraging uh, subscribers who, you know, they appreciate what I do. And I appreciate what a lot of other people do here on YouTube. But we all got to know what we dealing with in these cities. Like, like I I watch boxing and I like it's interesting the drama all that stuff, but I'm not gonna let myself love it because that's you know that plays into the devil's hand. Like I like Call of Duty, but I'm not gonna let myself love Call of Duty. You see what I'm talking about? Like, like I think you have to have a little taste of this stuff just to kind of keep it stirring up in you in case it needs to come out as a protective defense mechanism to, to save you from a situation. Because, like, one another thing I noticed, like, people that be, too, like, too churchy, like, you, you hear stories about, like, like have you ever heard the story about the guy who was so nice he lit those strangers in his house they raped his daughter and they basically killed him and his wife. Like the, the son and the daughter survived. But she was all messed up because them dudes were taking turns raping her. And they killed, tied them all up, killed him and his wife. No, no. My religious beliefs is not going to get in the way of what needs to be done. And, and judgment sometimes needs to come instantly to some of these savages. And I understand that. Y'all know why I understand that? Because I'm a no matrix guy. No matrix. I'm not one of them people, oh, God's going to be mad at me if I punch him back in the face, even though he punched me in the face three times. No, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. And I don't even like them, dude. Or the type of dude, no matter what your wife does, that's your wife. You have kids. You work it out. No, I could get another wife. No. No. See, this is why you need to be praying and you need to understand the Bible. Because if you understand the Bible, you already know that polygyny, the most high orchestrated polygyny himself at times. Remember David with Saul's wives? I tell y'all about that all the time. But you listen to people, though. People go automatically try to weaken you, whether it's your wife, whether it's your girlfriend, whether it's your kids in some cases, whether it's your old friends. Whether it's guys in the city who think they rob you, you supposed to give it up. No. If you rob me or you rob somebody else, you putting yourself in danger. You putting yourself in danger. You ain't you might not win. You might not win. Just it's a lot of retaliation murders in Milwaukee. Guys are going around, you listen to these tight pants rappers, oh, just do this, do that. And then you go do it. And you thought you got away with it, huh? But they came back. Because you ain't the only one with peoples. It's a lot of retaliation murders in Milwaukee. Guys doing stuff to people and then people come back and do it to them. That's why you got to think. You got to think. You got to realize everybody ain't going to be scared of you. You got to realize, what if I don't win? You got to be a no matrix guy. All this fighting, all these fight videos on Facebook. And then, and then it's crazy. It's going on around the world, all around the world. Same song. It's all around the world. It ain't just in the United States. They doing this stuff in every country. Fighting. Committing adultery. Uh, raping. 
this, that, or graping. Excuse me, YouTube. Hey, listen. People talking about shooting people and they got ops and all this other stuff. How you gonna just just pinpoint and put your radar on what I say? What I say don't endanger the community, it, it builds it up. But you got guys talking about shooting people on here, though. And they videos getting recommended. So just think about these things, man. Just watch everybody, man. Don't don't try to be down. Stay away from people. Stay away from troublemakers. Stay away from bums. Guys who ain't doing nothing in their life. It's a situation here. Now, mind it. The guy was a gangster type of dude doing street stuff. When he said, the minute he said, now I'm finna change. Let's move. Let's move to Texas and let's get married to, to, uh, somebody. That's a situation I know about. Somebody that know him goes and tells on him, snitches, and now he's locked up. Might not be going to Texas with his soon-to-be wife, who he been with for years, so on, so on and so forth. Now this is how people with. Now, why didn't they do that when he was here, when he wasn't thinking about moving and changing his life? Because these people are evil. And don't ever say, none of y'all fix y'all mouth to say hell ain't real with all the stuff that's going on. No wonder some of these people who make these videos talking about the sun, this and this, that, and, that, and trying to discredit the real existence of hell and outer darkness and this, that, and the other. No wonder they don't really make videos no more. Because all you got to do is look around. Where is this evil nature coming from? It's coming from somewhere. It's not within. You say, well, somewhere is within. So if you're trying to teach people that there is no God, there's no hell, and you're saying the evil is within, right? Okay, let me ask you something then. Based on what the story says in the scripture and what you believe, where does evil come from then? Because if you try to say that evil creates itself, then you're saying that humans create themselves. And that's impossible. That's impossible. You can't... Okay, what is... Okay, you saying humans create themselves. What is the liver made of then? What causes the liver to develop? Get out of here with that garbage, man. And some of y'all be believing that? Listen, man, whatever you want to do in your life, do it. But don't try to just discredit belief systems that's been here for thousands of years before you that you can't discredit. You want to be evil? Go do it. Go do it. Instead of, do what some people do. Instead of them just being evil and focusing on the evil they want to do, they want to make everybody else evil with them. That's how, that's, I'm, I'm going to just end this, man. I'm going to end this. Be aware and be aware of people. That's what the word beware. You put it together, you take it apart, it means the same thing. Be aware of people. Be aware of your surroundings. Focus on you. Get your life at the best. Be around people who want to enjoy life. Not people who are mad at the world who want to kill everybody. No, no. That's like moving. If it was this real, okay. If this was real, right? Let's say Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, and Jason lived in three separate neighborhoods, right? And you real life Freddy Krueger's, Michael Myers, and Jason Voorhees. And then let's say Leatherface. Let's say you, you lived in the city with uh, like 10 blocks. On one of them, Freddy Krueger, a real-life Freddy Krueger lived in. On another one, a real-life Jason Voorhees, real-life Michael Myers, real-life Leatherface. If, let's say, every block in your city had like a a person that was like a real life, real life Chucky. 
real life Pennywise, Pennywise or whatever, you gonna move to that block, man? You gonna move to those areas? Some of y'all will, you'll be like, well, I ain't worried about it, man. I got this. No, you don't move around those people. And let's say there was, just say, okay, well, if you, if you get your, your income up to a million dollars, then in the million dollar neighborhoods, you have this person, that person, this person. They don't do that stuff that Jason does, Michael Myers does. What are you going to strive for? I mean, this is easy. Y'all trying to live around real life uh, Jason Voorhees. Real life. Uh, what's the dude uh, in Detroit? The gangster dude who passed away. What's his name? Mickey or something? I'm starting to wonder about some of you. Are you that scared to, to fail? Were you willing to live around these type of people? I mean, this, all of this stuff is the thing, but be aware of people. Stay away from bad people. I'll see y'all in the next video.